welcome to today's issue of the AKT 30 day challenge. So let's start with a high yield statistical topic. Here we go. The correct answer is E, study 5. So this question is testing understanding of what p-value is statistically significant, but also data interpretation. So if we first have a look at the five studies, so you can see here that study 1 has a p-value greater than 0.05, as does study 4. So these two are not statistically significant. So we can ignore these two. Now if we look at the other three studies, study 2 and study 3, both had an increase in mean pain score at the end point. So i.e. while they were statistically significant, what it showed is that the treatment is not effective. Okay. Now if we look at study 5, here the p-value is 0 0.04, so it's statistically significant. Um, and then the mean pain score has decreased somewhat. Remember the question asked for which showed a statistically significant reduction in pain. See, these other ones were more statistically significant, study two and three, but they showed an increase in pain. So the correct answer, therefore, is study five, which is E. To look at statistical significance, we look at the p-value. A p-value tells us what is the probability that the finding from this study is not because of what we were studying, but because of random chance. Okay, uh, just to recap, a p-value of 0.1 means there's a 10% probability that it's random. P-value of 0.01, 1%. 001, 0.1%, okay, i.e. 1 in 1,000 probability that it's random. But see, the p-value doesn't tell us anything about clinical significance. For that, we have to look at the metric that was being measured and how much it changed. Statistics generally is one of the topics that people sometimes struggle with, um, so it is worth recapping any areas that you specifically feel less confident in, and you might find it useful to look through some of the other high-yield topics where we've covered some of the other statistical topics. So I hope it's been useful, and do join us again tomorrow for another issue of the AKT 30-Day Challenge.